So, tail plaits. Again, one of those that seem to stress people out. We definitely need some water on that. That is super shiny. So, tend to stress people out. Just practice. Pretend you're a, a kid and you're just playing with your pony and stand there and practice your tail plaits because once you practice, it's really not that bad. And again, I'm not professing to be the best at it. But it's just the same as the forelock, hence why I've not done it super slowly. I probably should have, sorry. Exactly the same as the forelock. Make sure you get nice, even pieces from the side. The start is everything. So if you don't start correctly, keep starting until you do. Make sure every time you put a new piece over, you tighten up everything. So different people do their tail plants different lengths. Um, I was taught all the way down the dock, but in reality I do it a bit on a visual. So I like it to have gone over the point of the bum and we'll probably do it to around here. So don't do your tail plant too short because it just looks like you couldn't be bothered. Take this one quite a lot of way down as well, but that's about as far as I'd go. And then we can do the same as we did with the main plants. tail because your band inevitably will break when you try and get this bit through or not. Again double bands are always the way. If in doubt double band it. 